Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Aaron Wade. Um, and today I want to talk to you about how my team at Google uh, has been using generative AI to inspire creativity. Um, I'll start off by just giving a little bit of background about uh, my, my team. Um, so I'm a creative technologist at the Google Creative Lab, uh, which is a small multidisciplinary team that does uh, a bazillion different kinds of things. Uh, but at its core, the Creative Lab is all about taking innovation and putting it in the hands of real people. Um, and we try to reach as many different kinds of people as possible. Um, I think we've touched on this at, at various points throughout the day today, um, but a huge part of empowering the people and the communities that we work with is building with them rather than for them. Um, and this is especially important when it comes to AI um, for at least two reasons. For one, this kind of co-creation ensures that the things that we build actually align uh, with the needs and the, and the values of the communities that we strive to serve. Uh, and secondly, it enriches our understanding of how AI can make our lives better, and more specifically, what kinds of spaces AI can have a real impact in. Uh, so recently, Google introduced something called Lab Sessions, uh, which is a new way to showcase our existing and future AI collaborations uh, with people across disciplines, such as artists, uh, academics, and entrepreneurs. Um, one of our initial collaborators for lab sessions with whom I had the amazing opportunity to work with was uh, a Grammy award-winning rapper named Lupe Fiasco. Has anybody here heard of Lupe Fiasco? Okay, I see some hands, good. Um, and we worked with Lupe to build something called TextFX, uh, which is a platform that leverages large language models to augment the creative writing process. And the kicker here is that we didn't really have any idea of what we wanted to build going into this collaboration with Lupe. Um, but we knew that we wanted to explore how AI could expand human creativity. So we started just by spending some time with Lupe to learn about his creative process. And what we found is that Lupe has this really special way of deconstructing language and then reassembling it in all sorts of novel and innovative ways. Um, some of his techniques like simile and metaphor uh, sort of draw from the canon of tradition, uh, like traditional literary uh, devices. But many of his techniques were entirely unique. Um, and something he demonstrated for us early on was this really clever way of creating phrases that sound similar to a word. Um, and he demonstrated that for us using the word expressway. So what Lupe would do is he would take a word like expressway and sort of expand it into all of these sort of uh, phonetic or phonological reimaginings. So he would take expressway and turn it into expressway, you know, a speedy delivery of dairy byproduct, or expressway into express sway, like as in to demonstrate influence, or expressway into expressway, like a path without news media, right? And as we can see here, the output of this process isn't um, a lyric or a verse or a rap, but rather just a creative way to look at a piece of text. And the more we worked with Lupe, the more we realized that these sorts of linguistic operations actually played a really critical role in his um, writing and in his process. And so in light of this, we began to wonder, um, how might we use AI to help Lupe explore creative possibilities with text and with language? And so when it comes to language-related applications, LLMs are the obvious choice from an AI perspective, right? Um, and luckily, we're Google, so we had ample tech at our fingertips. But we still needed to figure out how LLMs could actually empower Lupe's lyric writing workflow. So as I'm sure many of you in here know, one of the great things about LLMs is that you can prompt them to behave in a certain way just by giving them maybe a set of instructions or a few examples of what you want them to do. Um, and so as an initial experiment, we had Lupe provide more examples of that sort of same sounding phrase technique that I showed you a few slides back. And then we used those examples to prompt Google's Palm 2 large language model. And the result of that was this bite-sized AI-powered tool that could take in any word uh, as input and explode it into these sort of phonetic reimaginings in the same way that Lupe did. Um, and what you're looking at on this slide is Makersuite, which is a platform that Google released back in March. Um, and it makes it really easy and intuitive to do this kind of rapid experimentation with, with LLMs. 
So after we did that, we brought this newly made sort of AI tool back to Lupe and tested it. Um, and one of the words we tested it with was recognize. And what the model gave us was recognize, as in sort of like to fix the broken cogs in a clock, right? And it might seem trivial, but this actually really excited Lupe. Um, and his reaction to this was something along the lines of, you know, I would have never thought of this. Or if I had, it would have taken me so much more time. And so after realizing that we were kind of onto something with this, we worked with Lupe to identify additional needs or subtasks within his creative process. And then we started building and writing prompts that targeted those needs. Um, some of those things were explicit asks from him or things that drew very explicitly from his process. And others were sort of speculations from our end into what we thought might be useful. Um, and we sort of worked with him on that. Um, and in the end, we ended up developing a collection of 10 modular tools where each tool is sort of uniquely designed to explore different creative, possi uh, different creative possibilities that may arise from a given word or a phrase or a concept, right? And we also built this cute front end to house them. Um, and the idea behind the name text effects is that each of these tools operates on text and on language in a way that is sort of analogous to how a sound effect, for example, uh, transforms sound. Um, and just so you to get a sense here, the way this works is there's you know, 10 tools in the platform. You can select a tool. Right, what we're showing right here is Explode, which is that tool that I showed you as an example. You put in a word, and it sort of gives you outputs based on whatever input you gave it. And as I touched on briefly before, all of these tools within TextFX were built using Google's Palm 2 model. Uh, we used it straight out of the box with no fine tuning or anything like that. Um, and at its core, each of these tools is just a very carefully crafted LLM prompt. Uh, that is to say that the mechanism behind the magic of text effects is actually very simple, right? But despite this, this suite of tools encapsulates various aspects of Lupe's uh, really unique expertise when it comes to writing raps. And most importantly, it does so in a way that doesn't remove the creator from the process. Um, you know, before we started working with Lupe, we imagined that what a rapper might want out of AI is something that could write raps for them. But in reality, this could not have been farther from what Lupe wanted. Um, rather than something that writes raps for him, Lupe wanted something that could make him better at writing raps. He wanted something that could take care of all of the tedious parts of the process so that he could focus on the parts that he really cared about. And so, to sum up, I think that this collaboration has showed us a couple things. One is that in order to maximize the sort of impact of AI solutions, we really need to look to the communities who stand to benefit from them during the development process and not after. And secondly, it's possible to build AI solutions that don't make creators feel like they're either relying on or competing against AI in the process of devising their creative outputs. Um, and feel free to stop by my demo booth um, uh, where I'll be doing a live demo of TextFX, but it's also publicly available via this URL right here, textfx.withgoogle.com.